All right, dudes and dudettes, we got some exciting stuff planned for today. We are going to be creating a Wither Skeleton Killer. We've got a pretty unique way to do it, so stay tuned. All right, that's right, we're making a Wither Killer today, guys. So if we go ahead, pull up our map here. I did a little bit of exploring. I was trying to find another one of these Leviathans here, and I stumbled across uh, one of these. Um, and this is one of those those towers that we have right here with all the mobs in it But this one on the second floor has a skeleton spawner uh, This one on the second floor just has a spider spawner So we have to go all the way out here It looks like there's gonna be another one around here somewhere, but it looks like they're kind of clustered together uh, so slime island uh, Guardian Temple, uh, some of the underground stuff in Leviathan. They seem to be kind of grouped together. Um, so I was trying to look for one of these, ended up stumbling across, across this, found one of these, which is cool, and then also found another Slime Island, just in case this one ever stops working. But we're going to go ahead and head over there. Uh, we're going to grab a boat. Oh, I don't have a boat, but I do have the box I need. I didn't realize I was going to need that until just now. Uh, that's how we're going to grab the spawner. And um, what about you? Yep, we can make a spruce one. Perfect. Now, normally I totally would just fly over, except uh, we have that problem where if we fly up too high, we start to take uh, poison damage just because it says the atmosphere is too, uh, the atmosphere is too toxic. So in order to get past that, we have to get something called a scale. Uh, and that will allow us to go higher than that. But we need 200 of those uh, C dollars or C bucks uh, in order to uh, effectively uh, purchase that, basically. So until we can purchase that, we can't really go up a, a lot higher, which is why it's very important that the skeleton spawner is on the first floor, because that means we can snag it from the bottom floor. All right, so here we are. Um, the spawner is right there. Uh, if you look, it says mob skeleton, so this is exactly what we need. We click it with the box, then we can break it, and where did it go? Oh, it probably got picked up by my backpack, which we are going to back up. Actually, we're just going to kind of move over here for now. Okay, so let's have a look here. Uh, yes, I do see it in this backpack right here. Perfect. So we have the skeleton spawner. Oh, and we also got a wither skeleton head. I didn't realize we grabbed one of those. Very cool. Okay. I wonder if we if we go like this, we can get a quest. Yes, sir. We sure did. Cool. Okay. So we got one. So let's go ahead and head back on home. And uh, we'll get to making this. That guy's scary. Okay, guys, so we're going to be using the compact machine here in order to do this. Uh, so you spawn in the middle here. We're going to have the kill chamber for these guys uh, be over here. Okay, perfect. So we can fly all the way up and it won't really affect us. So this is the level that we're going to need to spawn them in at uh, so that they fall down and get pushed into here and they won't conflict with anything. Uh, but if we have a two block gap like so they are not able to even get out because they are three blocks tall and we're gonna be doing this in a really interesting way so we're gonna spawn these guys in uh, higher up they're gonna be normal skeletons and they are going to be pushed into some witch water which will then turn them into wither skeletons and that is the whole point of the farm so like they'll get they'll be turned into wither skeletons and then they're just gonna be pushed into a, a one by one hole and at the bottom there we're gonna be there killing them because we don't have any uh ways to kill them unless there is a block that will use a cleaver then then we could do something with that uh so unless there's a block that allows us let's see here is there a user Hmm, I don't think there is one currently in the pack, but if you guys know of one that will allow us to... Why is there light? If, if you know one that will allow us to uh, put a cleaver into so the farm can use it and you know get that beheading effect, uh, please do let me know down in the comment section. That'd be very helpful. Uh, but yeah, so... <clears throat> This is how we're going to do it. We're going to use conveyor belts, and we're going to use the conveyor belts to uh, put them into the um, into the witch water. Oh, my goodness. 
These jetpacks are so stinking hard to control, guys, I tell ya. Alright, so I got an idea. If we just do one of these. There we go. Alright, so nothing can spawn on top. And, you know, what wouldn't be a bad idea is because we're using conveyor belts, and this is going to be outside the spawn, spawnable distance. <clears throat> if we build up a wall like this, they can't escape. I'm just kidding. They uh, will be able to direct them. <coughs> <coughs> we will be able to direct them straight into... Uh, just two sources of the the witch water, uh, which will be a lot more efficient uh, and easier to do. So we're actually going to do another row here, uh, because if we were to put like one thing of witch water here, they'd be pushed into it and slowed down. Uh, but if we say put it uh, on the ends, like like right here, they'll be pushed and then pushed in. So uh, that's what we're going to try to do. It might not be the best setup, but it is a goofy one. So we're going to go with it. All right, and so these conveyor belts, uh, so that's the, this is center. Now we do not have enough of this, unfortunately, enough of the conveyor belt, so I will need to go craft some more. I didn't think that we'd be using this many conveyor belts. Okay guys, so we have all the conveyors in. Very, very cool. Um, if we, I don't know, I mean, huh, I wonder if this will even work. I'm starting to kind of doubt it because, um, well, let's see, how are we gonna do this? I wonder if we just do that and that. Will the conveyor work like a sign or does it get broken? It's going to work like a sign. Perfect. Okay. So we can keep the conveyor there. And we can put our signs here to hold our witch water. Like so. There we go. Okay. We're gonna get our jetpack on. We're gonna try not to get into the witch water. Like that. But we need to shift click. Okay, do these guys even spawn in? It doesn't look like they're gonna spawn in. So all of this was for nothing. We need to create this in the overworld. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. This used to work, that's why I tried to do it. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and we've converted um, the left side of our mob farm currently to a uh, wither kind of converter killer area. This is where, this is where we're gonna kill them. Uh, okay. But we do have quite a few of these guys over here, so we're going to have to kill these, get rid of those, because we really don't need them. Uh, but yeah, now we take the conveyor belts uh, that we so awesomely made, and we're going to put them over here, uh, but only after... Yeah, one, two, three. Or no. We want to put it on that block. So, spawners in here. Yes, sir. All right, so they're going to drop down, and they're going to get pushed over. Uh, I found the easiest way to do this. Uh, it's probably too dark for you guys, but you place them going across. Like I put the, the torches up on the wall so you guys can see. Uh, so you place them like this, and you just kind of work your way back. And this is by far the easiest way uh, to do it. And the cool thing is, is once you get to the end, say over here, um, you just do that. <clears throat> so pretty simple. You just back up into it, not that bad. And we're also gonna have some conveyor belts to use on other farms now, which would be cool. We could use these to move items around, because this, I have been um, kind of uh, planning uh, our final base for the series. Because uh, what we have now is definitely not gonna be the final product, and this is where it gets a little tricky. 
especially paired up with the stupid boots. <clears throat> I'm beginning to hate these boots. Oh, shoot. Can you get off of that? Thank you. I just found out if you shift. Okay, stupid wand. I really hate that you shift and do that. Okay. So there we go. Um, wow, I didn't know if you shifted. It didn't affect you. Uh, but yeah, so skeletons drop down here. It is going to be limited by one block on each side except for this one. But that's not really too bad. We can always just put another spawner in here once we find it. Uh, but now we take our witch water. And let's see. Here we go. We're going to have two of these guys. Does that make an infinite water source? No, it doesn't. All right, so they get pushed into that. Um, and then they drop down after they turn into the wither skellies. So it does mean we're going to have to go through the witch water. Ooh, yeah, here we go. Cool. So they've been turned into those guys. Um, yeah. Okay. So you can get too close. And you do have to stand uh, kind of close to the spawner. Yeah, because it's off now. All right, so you got to stand at least at the light. Okay. That's pretty simple. So we need to... I totally forgot about this setup. But we need to... Move. There we go. So now they get funneled off into this little area. If we stand here, they'll occasionally spawn in. And they'll fall in. Hmm. You know, we do have the ability to make this too taller. But if we made it too taller, yeah, their heads would be in there so they'd move slower. I don't think that's a good idea. Hmm. Okay. No no wither skellies yet. Yeah, so we're going to keep using the, the cutlass. Uh, but this technically is working. Oh, wait. Are we... Oh, I wonder if we're too low, actually. Like, we get out of range if we go here. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to have to move the skeleton spawner forward then, which is okay. So let's move it like right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right there. Huh, which water didn't seem to do anything to us. Yeah, but now it will spawn in. We can just stand here and we'll start to collect the fools. Very cool. Yep, there they are. They get converted into... Bam. Very cool. Okay, so this is going to be bad. Um, how do we kill... Oh, there's only one. There we go. So we no longer need to worry about converting those guys. Uh, ooh, this is going to be interesting. We're going to find out what happens when we kill a compressed guy. Oh, cool. They all just spawn there. That's a wither skeleton head. Second one. That makes three guys. Oh my goodness. We have three wither skeleton heads. We have to take on... Oh, we gotta keep that on. <gasps> There's three! Oh my gosh, guys. That's how easy it is. 
It was like within a span of a couple of seconds there just to get three wither skeleton heads. Oh my gosh. We gotta go kill a wither. Uh, I should have some soul sand around here. Oh. That's a creeper. Oh no. Those are leaves. Oh. That had me really worried for a second. I was like, how did you even get in there? Okay. So, uh, do we have any soul sand? We don't. How do we make the soul sand again? Because we need four. Uh, which water with with sand? Okay. So we just need uh, the sand. Oh, we're very sandy. So we're definitely going to take on a wither skeleton this ep or wither this episode, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, so we're going to do a little bit of gearing up before we take on the wither. Um, and you might notice we have a bunch of hearts in our inventory. Well, we've also got golden apples. You didn't see those, so that's pretty neat. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we have these canisters. We're going to go ahead and make some of these heart canisters that we pretty much kind of really need. Um, and where do we put them? How do we use the canisters? Um, a heart amulet? Is this what we need? Aha! There it is. All right, so we can put seven extra hearts into that guy. Um, let's see, we should be able to make a bunch of the tier twos. Ah, we need red hearts for this. Drops off of friendly mobs. Okay, so we're going to need to kill some more friendly mobs. Uh, but once we put this guy on, we should start to see, yes, we have an additional six hearts. Uh, so we're going to be working on getting a bunch of those hearts for uh, later on. But we're going to go ahead and kind of get rid of all of our... Helpful things. I do have my slime boots off. We have full netherite armor on. Uh, protection four. I'm breaking three. Protection three. Thorns two. So that's good. Protection four. And then I'm breaking three. Protection four. So paired up with the extra hearts, the golden apple, and the amazing sword and bow that I managed to get. This has knockback two, fire aspect two, sharpness five, unbreaking three, looting three. But we might actually end up using our cleaver because it does do 19 hearts of damage instead of just 10. And then the bow we have is flame, power four, unbreaking three, infinity, and punch two. So that one is pretty flipping good. Uh, so we're going to grab an arrow. We're going to grab uh, some more things. We're, we're going to get nervous. <laughs> So we're going to do this in our, um, oh, I need that arrow, whoops. We're going to do this in our, uh, I can't think, I can't think, I'm sorry, give me a second. Okay, we're going to do this in our little uh, compact machine here. Uh, this should give us enough room to do so. All right. Well, we're going to start this now, and I'm going to keep eating these throughout the fight. Yeah, we have absorption. For that long and then regeneration okay so here we go first wither fight of Seopolis and we're the only thing it can attack so this is gonna be interesting Like, we didn't even get through. <laughs> uh, 
So that breaks it. Guys, I have always had a problem when it comes to fighting the first wither. I somehow always die in like a really stupid way. Like on the fan server, we fought a wither and I ended up dying just because of the wither effect after we killed the boss. And like the wither effect, like he hit me right before he died. And I ended up just dying because of it. So we have our first nether star. We have successfully completed the nether uh, quest line. We get two more sea bucks. I really wish that one gave you more than just two, uh, a single sea buck. Uh, but that means we are a couple steps closer. So only 33 left to get our, our thing. Well, actually, no. We have some more quests that we haven't claimed. Oh, we got one more. So 32 left. So I think a best bet would probably, our best bet, we don't want to pin that, would probably be, um, yeah, so we've done all of that. Uh, da, 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 da. Twilight Forest would be a good one. Ocean expo ex Exploration. But I think our big ones are going to come from the seeds. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There. Uh, yeah, so if we just like do a live stream and I focus on these, I know we've done a few of these, but when I, again, when I reset it, 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 when I updated it, reset all of those. So that's definitely something we want to later do. Uh, what are you to do? Give us, oh, we need a couple of you, don't we? Nice. So we have our first nether star. What can we do with it? Well, there's a few things. Um... Everlasting upgrade backpack becomes indestructible, can't despawn or fall into void. Okay, that's good for backpack. We can do a wither builder, you know, create a system that automatically kills them, which wouldn't be a bad idea because we can just set up a mob grinder. Inception upgrade makes it possible to put backpacks into backpacks. That's kind of crazy. Obviously, the blue heart container, uh, enchantment focused book. What are you used for? We'll only accept the pedestal advanced enchantments when being enchanted can only add enchant from books to upgrades with the anvil. That's kind of weird. I don't understand that one. I think it might be from pedestal, right? Yeah. All right, we can do the map generator, the origin. Ooh, that would be cool. Um, nether star generator, that'd be a little crazy. Um, can't do the gravitational one yet. Infinity one wouldn't be a bad idea. Shield projector. Star-infused netherite. Ooh, that's not bad. A beacon. Pedestal range augment. Is this the infinite card? Yeah, so this is the infinite range booster. Uh, it requires 12, 13 nether stars, so we can't do it quite yet, but it's definitely something we can do. If we were to set up the wither builder, uh, I believe we could probably knock that out. Like, get 12 nether stars very quickly. Uh, but that is going to wrap up the episode for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you learned a thing or two. Guys, check out that playlist at your end screen. It's going to be on the left side. It's going to be the whole playlist. You're going to want to check it out, you know, get caught up from the beginning. Uh, but, guys, I will see you all in the next episode. We're going to take on mystical agriculture. We're going to make a lot of seeds next episode. So, anyways, I'll see you guys then. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.